Welcome in everybody, James Whitaker here, and today, as I promised, we got access to the beta of Valorant console, and we are here to give our thoughts, impressions, on what we think of this game, and at this moment. Um, I've not played too much of it over the weekend, um, it was Father's Day over here in the UK, and me, Gemma, and the kids, we went out. Um, so I, I got to play a little bit. I played quite a bit yesterday, um, like evening for like an hour or so. Um, I jumped into a little bit um, Saturday evening, but not too much. So we still like we've still not put like too many hours into this. But I've got some impressions so far. I'm actually curious. This is a game that I originally I was always like interested in but due to my pc limitations i wasn't able to really play at the time and with this now officially coming over to console it's going to allow me to be basically be able to play this game if i feel like this is a game that i definitely do want to definitely like play more of so we did the tutorial which i think the tutorial as itself was actually like a great starting point I think it does a really solid job of teaching you the mechanics, you know, like all these different abilities and how each agent is going to have their own abilities and these abilities are going to help you service yourself and your team in all these um, different matches. Um, it also gave us a free, a free character token, with agent token, which we'll get into. We've, we've actually, despite us not doing too much, we've done well. We've finished the intro, combat, and practice. Moving forward now, we've got to finish combat plus, and then we've got to do um, win to do the next um, milestone. I have also gone through settings, just to turn volume down a tiny bit, because I wasn't too sure if it was going to be like super loud, as it is. So, as we go across, um, Progression. So this is where we're going to get our missions, dailies, our battle pass stuff, objectives. Um, and so far, tier 7 out of 50. Not bad. Um, not bad at all. So we are actually um, doing pretty good in in it on that, um, on that scale. Um, and I like this. I like how everything like battle pass, missions are all on the same page. Obviously next, agents. So... I know there's a couple of agents we get like at the start. Um, I unlocked, I believe his name is Omen. So we unlocked Omen. Um, obviously Phoenix is pretty cool. So like so far, looking at the the variety of all the different agents and their like, you know, their looks and their abilities, it's really cool. It's something that could get me on board. Like I said, I've been waiting for like a really solid, good um, first-person shooter. You know, like I, we, I spoke about this before. You know, we've had Destiny too far ahead for me at the second. Card to me just too much memory space. Um, you know, we tried X Defiance because I was actually enjoying, um, and I might jump back into that at some point. And then we've also got Valorant that's coming out to consoles this year. We've also got Marvel Rivals that is coming out at some point soon. I'm assuming. Um, so, and then we've also got Concord on the way as well. Um, so a lot of first person shooters, you know, especially like multiplayer games that are like either out or they're coming out. So it's getting like a very, very, very hectic, you know, like um, period with gaming on that sense. And we'll see how things go with that. But I'm going to keep experimenting with some of these other games. And hopefully we find a game that I can actually really stick to. Um, Korea. So, like I said, not been doing too great. Saturday night, I played it on the PlayStation Portal. The hour or so I did last night, I did that on, my actual, on the actual console itself. Um, we gained some kills, you know, and did win one or two games yesterday I think it was so so far doing good then obviously collection this is cool I like the old collection of all of our guns and um, buddies um, I also like that we'll be able to once we get more skins we can equip everything on these pages 
um, skins and then buddies looks like this one I do like and we got our play cards which already I've been able to like change some bits up um, our level borders um, titles you know, we, got, we had no title, we had recruit, and we got fetch. I went for recruit, um, and our sprays. So this, I feel like this is more of like a first impression for me, but also if there's anybody out there that's not, they even started playing this on console, or they've, you know, that they've not had a chance yet. I feel like this, this, this would be a good opening uh, video for you guys. Just to take a look at the menus and what I think of the game. And obviously we've got the shop here. You know, we, 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 can, we can buy skins for weapons, um, we've obviously got agents, we can go in and we can buy agents. Um, because it's obviously a combination of different currencies, depending on what you've got. You know, or whether you've got like a free agent token. Um, and we can also actually get um, accessories from previous passes. And eSports, VCT, Team Capsules, which is actually pretty cool. Obviously... This is like not stuff that you, you need to, you know, to win the game. This is just like cool cosmetic um, stuff. Doesn't affect the game at all. Where says, once again, what needs to happen. Uh, cool. Okay. So that being said, we are going to, we're going to jump in. We're going to jump in. We're going to play um, a mode or so. And we're going to see how the um, mode does for us. So, yeah, four modes. You get unrated, which is takes thirty to forty minutes. You use attack and defense. You switch your team switches between both. Um, whoever has the highest score at the end wins. Got swift play, which is practically that, but it's a uh, much more shorter games with like ten to fifteen minutes. And then obviously we got death match and we got team death match. Um, first team to hundred kills wins. First player to forty kills wins. We'll do um we'll do swift play. I think swift play would be a um, a good one for us to jump into at this second, everyone. So we'll key off server on automatic and we will start game. We'll see how long it takes us to find a game. I've been actually get getting in pretty quick. So like I said, my first time this 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 is Match my found. first time with Valorant. Um so I'm still getting used to certain stuff like maps, agents, you know, like the abilities, the old, the, the gameplay style that it actually is. Oh. Okay, let's go for Phoenix. So yeah, we've we got Phoenix here. Um, it's awesome, it tells you a bit about them too. And you can switch, you can use your shoulder put buttons. Um, to actually switch on like information and their abilities and then the, the, the um, ultimate ability as well um, so yeah this this is this, you know what so far what I have played the very very tiny bits I played I've liked what I played so far um, but I'm actually I'm curious to see like you know what my feelings as I move further in this And just trying to like understand and you know like figure out the maps you know like you know when it's like oh point a b and c okay where's where's the best where's the best high point if i want to go in with a sniper you know like best high like little hiding spots for a second to try to ambush um the other team there's definitely like um a lot to this and each round you get like um with swift play and then the longer one you do get like um like it's like one like if you get like one life per round. Obviously, me and there's like some other people that have like not played as much as some others. Like we have got somebody on the team that's eleven, so that's better than two. Okay, so what I like is there's always this um pre phase I guess of like buying stuff. And obviously, you know, this is the first round, so we can't really buy him too much. But we have got some um, abilities. Reloading. We do have our classic um, gun. We can use this as like a little shooting range while we wait. Reloading. 
always gives you like a certain level of um and with defenders so it's going to be our aim to either kill the entire team or to stop them from putting like the spike down which is like a bomb and once they put it down um basically um deactivate it we'll see how we do Oh, we got a kill. Okay. All right. Oh, there's only two left. Okay, I still want to be careful. <laughs> I still want to be careful. Okay. And then keep an eye on the map. I always sometimes forget about the map as well. Sometimes. Oh, okay. Somebody else got them. Okay. But well, we got a kill. All right, I'll take that, everyone. Okay, so uh, we'll keep, we won't spend on heavy shields because we still got some high shields. We'll get, we'll purchase a blaze. Um, curve bolts pretty good to curve your, to curve them on corners. Um, uh, bulldog. I actually got some kills yesterday with this weapon. If you're like a PC, you know, like deep Valorant gamer. Let me know what weapons work for you. Or if you get any tips or advice. So far we're leading one to nil. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Okay, I didn't get that one, but I you know I helped. Are we going this way? I also need to remember. Okay, we need to go to C, don't we? Oh, I thought I got shot. Okay. And then because the bomb's getting ready to um, activate, we lost that one. We lost that one. But so far, we're actually not doing bad. Let them try to get okay. I mean, I can deal with that. Okay, and now we can get heavy shields. We'll buy... Oh, I didn't want to do that, did I? I'll buy another curve We'll try to see what this is like. I've not tried too many shotguns so far. So I'll be very curious. Oh, shit. I, I, I. Oh, I'm just not going to go down. That's my own fault, but... And then I need to get used to L3 being um, Crouch. Okay, shotgun. Oh, okay. It wasn't... Quite what I was expecting. One enemy remaining. Okay, we need to get to B. I can defuse it. Oh! Defuse there. Let's go. Okay. Okay, we're not doing too bad. I'm feeling good. Which is wasn't it's not what I was thinking um yesterday with this. But I'm actually doing pretty um I feel pretty good. There's still like, a lot of stuff I think I, I know I need to get like, a lot better at. Um uh, but I think if this game is a game that sticks with me, me then I done. probably will get a lot better because there's like a lot of stuff I can like learn from it and get better with. Oh, nice! Okay! I was not expecting to gain that. Uh, 
Okay, so there's only three of them left. And I need to keep an eye on the map. I've got an ultimate. They've not. We're still defenders. Spike planted. Oh fuck, okay. I thought we got him then, but we didn't. Shit. Okay, so let's see how our team does on this bit, okay. I'm actually just, um, surprised how well. Oh god. Oh, and then you got to defuse it. Oh man, is it too late? Or oh, just? One. Nice. Okay. And now we swap, and now we're attackers. Yeah, there we go. So now we're attackers. It's bad now, so we don't get much to begin with. But, that being said, I am pretty happy with this. At this moment, anyway, I prefer to have, like, like even if it's just light shields on. Just gives me something, at least. But we're currently 3-1. Um, we've deactivated a spike. We've, um... We've deactivated a spike, and we've, we've, we've got some kills. And we've helped with, you know, some other kills. So... Okay, so this person has to spike. You can... Reloading. Teamwork is all about teamwork. It's not always about the kills. It can be, um... I mean, you can get kills, and it's like, it can be really, like, you know, feel really good. Healing. But at the end of the day, it's all... It's all about working as a team. Oh, so my, my one thing is abilities. I need to start using abilities more. I'm a curves. I know this. So this is something, something already I know I need to do. It's also just remembering, depending on my agent, on, like, the abilities I've got. The abilities I've got and, you know, the best one to use. Okay, so we're just waiting for the spike to... They, now that they're going to have to come in and they're going to have to try to kill us so they can then get to the spike and deactivate it. One enemy remaining. And this kind of playstyle, is, is, it's fast paced, but it's something that I can actually really appreciate. Oh no, one underneath there. Oh nice, one! One. And max points. Okay, so heavy shields. Um, bulldog. I'm sure there's like I keep going back to the bulldog. I'm sure there's probably like a lot of other weapons that I might you know prefer as I as I get to try them and choose them. See, the last round is the round I didn't want to have. You know, especially compared to like the other rounds that um, I was able to have, but okay. Take a look. Try to keep. Like, try try to hunt them down and um, take down like the remainder. Of the... Got the spike. Oh fuck! Okay, okay, that's fine. One enemy remaining. 
We've had some really good rounds. We've had the last two rounds not so good. But because of that, we got a victory. Which is obviously something that, like, yeah, this is this is cool. Um, so I'll wait for this. And then I'll show you, like, statistics. And, like, what I think of statistics. Uh, honestly, right? For somebody like me that doesn't really, like, play a lot of these kind of games. I'm not too bad. I got one headshot. Um, I got 592 damage that I dealt. So, less than 2,000 damage. Um, we're continuing pass on that battle pass on tier 8. So, this we get. So, this is the progress. This gives you, like, you know, like, any, like, um, quests, missions, like, you know, dailies. With um, experience points, your battle pass. Summary tells you about that match. And then obviously the scoreboard gives everybody like everybody's stats of and the average of everything on doing that match itself. And then X gloss away. So you got this information if you need to read it. Um taking a look. And that is it everybody. That is that is um uh, Valorant. Obviously, there's, I've still got a lot to unpack. I've I, like there's a lot of other agents and abilities I want to use, and I want to like be able to unlock as well. Um, but as like where we currently is at the beta, I'm actually currently like myself happy with where it is. Also, I believe it's just for the console. It's like the crossplay is just with consoles, I think. So there is nothing like not nothing crazy like esports players or anything coming in from like PC crossplay because then now would be like a totally different kind of experience. Um, and, and I don't know, would I kill it? Would, could I kill a game like this? Probably. Um, but so far, I think it's got promise for consoles. Obviously, it's a huge, you know, th there's a huge community for this on PC, at eSports. And this could be something um, really special on uh, moving forward on consoles and introducing a brand new um, community base, which can only be an exciting thing, especially for people into esports, first person shooters, you know, like online multiplayer games. And we'll see how it goes, everybody. So thank you for checking this video out, everybody. If you want me to um, to make more Valorant content, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to like and to, to support the channel. Um, hit the like button to let YouTube know you like this content. Um, comment below about Valorant. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you get all notifications straight to you when a brand new video um, goes live. So with all that being said, everybody, we're going to go. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your Mondays. And we'll see you all later in the week. Goodbye, everyone.